Hey, everybody. Welcome to the Tinker Bunker. You've probably only seen this room once before, actually, now that I think about it, but this is probably my favorite room in my apartment, and it's probably the closest thing I'll ever get to a garage because this is literally the place to work on stuff. Mostly Legos, but I work on my helmets in here, too. This is where I just kind of craft things. Today, I'm going to put together another Venator Mark II helmet, and the last time I made one was a while ago. Last time I made a video of me making one was like two years ago, but I've made four or five in total. And this one is going to go to one of my patrons because what I'm going to start doing is making a new one for every 100 patrons that I get to give away to one of them. So I finally got enough parts to start putting one of them together. So this is just going to be a chill time with chill music in my chill room where I get to put one of these together for the first time in a while, but it'll be fun. I don't remember the box being red, but I like it. They put a visor in there for me. And let's see if I can get this out with one hand. I should be able to with this gravity situation. Not to mention they have a peek on there so I can grab it like that. There we go. Well, that looks great. It's not important, but I'm a fan of black and red. And that didn't used to look that way. And I know they've made uh, updates to this helmet over the years. In fact, there's probably a label inside that says what month and year it was manufactured. There's something right in there. It says it was made February 2017 model. So this model is almost a year old, but it's newer than any ones that I've had. You know, I was just about to put this and this down here, because this is where they, bolt, where they go. But you can't see, I just realized there's gotta be like eight of them. <laughs> There's so, I've done so many of these. There's got to be like eight peeps in here. That's hilarious. Now I have to uh, remove that sticker and basically just start attaching stuff. So I'm going to go ahead and just set the camera over there while I do that and I'll have at it for a while. Okay, that's enough time lapse because my camera is really hot. I've actually been here for a while. So using my uh, current busted-ish helmet as a reference, this is as far as I got. I got the tops and I have one side of this done. I am never gonna make a helmet using conduit again because it's very loose, it's very flimsy, very delicate, easily broken. That's one reason why I don't like wearing it. Um, it looks awesome, but when I customize a helmet in the future, it's going to be much more, well, sturdy. Like, this is the best part, because that holds on. All ready to go. Ronan, is this not the best day ever? Look at this helmet. Look what I made. <laughs> yeah. It has nothing to do with you, but still, I mean, that's the, uh, that's a new copy of an Aider Mark II. And uh, not difficult to put together, but it looks awesome. It's not even paying attention to me. Luckily, I know a word I'll give him to pay attention. Watch this. Treat! <laughs> you want a treat? I'll get you a treat in a bit, buddy. <laughs> oh, thanks for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed this little video. And I wanted to take a second to thank my patrons. Thank you guys so much for supporting me there. I really appreciate you. And I hope one of you appreciates this helmet and I look forward to making more in the future. If you guys want to see my Patreon, the link for it is in the description. But thank you guys for watching. Hope you appreciate this little video. And um, I'll see you guys next week. Thanks for watching. <laughs>